Of all the champions in League of Legends, Samira, the Desert Rose, is certainly the most stylish. From her obligatory dual pistols and weapon flourishes, to her juggle ability and literal style mechanic, she wears more than a few references to a certain silver-haired demon hunter on her sleeve. Which of course is the very same silver-haired demon hunter who just so happens to be a staple in another tag-based fighting game, the Marvel vs. Capcom series. So let's take a few minutes to explain why Samira could bring not only Dante's style and ability, but also some of her own flavors from her role in League of Legends into Project L. But before we get started, huge shout out to Muramasa from the Project L Discord server for the concept of this video. He was responsible for the ideas it was based on, and I would really appreciate if you would go give him some love on Twitter if you enjoyed the video. Links to his Twitter and original concept down below. Now on to Samira. Starting off with Samira's passive ability, Daredevil Impulse. Samira builds a combo by hitting attacks or abilities unique from the previous hit. Attacks within melee range deal additional magic damage. For each increase in style grade, she gains 3.5 movement speed. And finally, Samira can only use her ultimate ability if she is currently in S grade, but a little bit more on that later. In League, this is a great way to encourage utilizing all of Samira's abilities and constantly keep mixing things up to keep building her style gauge to unlock more show-off, mobility, and damage potential. In Project L, we can have her really lean into this as a core mechanic of her entire kit, adding a more personalized style gauge that goes up from confirmed special moves, counter hits, and aerial attacks, and the style gauge goes down when Samira herself is counter hit, knocked down, or thrown. The way this gauge could work is as she ranks up in style, she could be given additional properties to each of her special moves, access to additional ways to use said moves, as well as some increased mobility like her league counterpart, such as some increased running speed, and on S rank only, the ability to double jump and air dash. Moving on to those special abilities, we start with her Q ability, Flare. Samira fires a shot at long distances, or at close range swings her sword at her opponents, dealing physical damage. In League, Samira can alternate between her ranged auto attack and her gun flare ability to start chipping away from afar, or slash her opponents up close with her blade flare ability for that extra magic damage and have the added bonus of being able to hit multiple enemies at once. In Project L, I propose that for the base style version of the gunshot, we could give her a standard forward shot projectile to zone and poke her opposition, the mid-tier style version allowing Samira to shoot in different directions such as an anti-air version or an actual airborne version, and finally, the full style shot could allow Samira to hold the special button down to charge her next shot. This shot could have a larger hitbox, provide a wall bounce if it connects, and act as a guard break on impact against a turtling opponent. For the base style version of the slash, we could have it be a basic hit confirmable special to increase your normal's poking damage, mid-tier version being given more hits and damage when they connect, and finally, the S-tier version being a full launcher that knocks your opponent into the air and allows a full combo follow-up. For Samira's next ability, her W is Blade Whirl. Samira slashes around her, damaging enemies and destroying enemy projectiles in the process. This is a great way to negate projectile crowd control or poke attempts from enemy champions, while also racking up some slashing damage along the way. Blade Whirl is similar in both function and appearance to the Street Fighter Shoto staple or more simply known as Tatsu. A Tatsu is a special move where the character travels forward with their foot extended, usually spinning like a top while doing so. Tatsus are often briefly projectile invulnerable as well, so you can use it to punish an opponent who is spamming projectiles. Samira's base style version of Blade Whirl can function exactly this way to get around characters trying to zone her out. For the mid-style level, add the ability to follow up on hit with another special ability to increase the damage, and finally on S-style, grant Samira the ability to Blade Whirl while in the air. Up next, her E is Wild Rush. Samira dashes through an enemy or structure, slashing enemies she passes through and gaining attack speed. This is an excellent way for Samira to close the distance and dash behind her opponents to keep up her aggression when it's time to go for the kill. In Project L, it could fit much of the same mold of closing distance, but in this case, dashing behind your opponents could hit as a cross-up attack. The base style version is the simple dash behind, mid style version adding more hits on connection that can be converted into another special move for more damage, and finally the S style version adding the ability she has in League to use Flare while she is mid dash into Wild Rush. She can drop some explosives in her trail, adding another hit property behind Samira as she's dashing, which can knock the enemy airborne and allow for a full follow up combo. 
Finally, this leaves us with Samira's R and ultimate ability, Inferno Trigger. Samira unleashes a torrent of shots from her weapons, wildly shooting all enemies surrounding her. As with many ultimate abilities, this is her big damage ender, spraying many shots around Samira and dealing mass damage to enemies within range. There is, however, the stipulation that Samira can only use this ability if her style rank is S, so we'll carry over both the idea of the high damaging bullet barrage, but also the restriction of needing the maxed out style gauge into Project L as well. We could have the option of having an aerial version of the spinning gun spray, similar to how it appears in League, as well as having a more uniform directional spray to even further pay off maxing out your style gauge, giving Samira even more options to finish off her opponent with, you guessed it, style. And that's going to do it for my pitch for Samira and Project L. Huge thanks again to Muramasa for the original concept. Let us know in the comments below what you think we got right, what you think we could do better on, and what other champions you want to see given the fighting game treatment for Project L. Thank you all so much as always for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.